I put a little bit of whipped cream in my tea. That's fire. Welcome to another vlog, guys. The title of this video is very true. I am completely burnt out from work. I am so tired. And let me explain further. So this job I have is amazing. I love this gig. I love the people I work with. But this past month, I have been so burnt out and I really couldn't put my finger on as to why. I mean, I do work a lot and there's been a lot of overtime shifts I've taken or just, you know, switching around my schedule all the time because we're really understaffed. So I don't really have like a set schedule. I'm just kind of like put everywhere, wherever my managers need me to be. And so I thought maybe that was it. Like maybe I was overworking myself, which to a certain extent is true. But at the same time, there are bills that need to be paid. But today was honestly the tipping point for me because we were so busy. I dealt with a lot of wonderful members today and a lot of mean members today. But it was really frustrating me and I felt my social battery draining so much to where like there was no way I could even pretend that I was in an okay mood. Not that I was mean to anyone by any means. I still gave my best foot forward when it came to customer service. I don't know, you know when you can't just like fake it fully? God, why am I getting like I feel like there's a frog in my throat. This is not that dramatic. But I was thinking about it today as to why I've been genuinely so burnt out and I can't do anything to fix it. Anything that I've been trying to do to fix it just has not been working. And I realized today that it was because I am just the ultimate people pleaser and I just let people walk all over me. I, I seriously, I do. I am an ass kisser, but I'm not even kissing ass to get anywhere. I just kiss ass because I feel like I'm obligated to kiss ass. I like to do good at my job. I like to know as many things as I can about membership because I'm selling people membership. I also want them to know everything that's in their contract. I don't want them to miss any details. I want to make sure I give them all the right paperwork. I put so much pressure on myself and I just, I'm just such an over people pleaser where I don't even feel like me. I just feel like I'm put on this earth to just serve other people, which is not, I don't think that's what I'm here to do. I think it's great to be nice to people, to help people, but I'm also here for my damn self. Life is way too fucking short to be such a people pleaser, to kiss so many asses to where your own ass isn't even kissed. It's a mixture of everything, trying to be perfectionist, kissing ass, overworking myself, because the people I work with are great. This is the best job I've ever had, but I am so fucking tired. I literally don't have time to do anything else I want to do. I come home and I sleep most of the time. Now I know where it's stemming from and now I just want to release that shit and just allow myself calm because if I just own my emotions and own that I'm in a place of peace, these other bitches energy is not gonna fuck with me because I'm just not gonna take it. I'm sorry Like I'm not here for that. So welcome to this burnt out vlog I know most of us are burnt out and I wish I could just be like don't worry the world's changing soon Money isn't everything but here we are. So at least we can take this Let's say 10 minutes however long this vlog is to just Get that spark back that we have within ourselves. Take care of ourselves, accept ourselves where we are today without trying to do all this fucking self-improvement that makes you feel broken. I am just coming to you as me and Burnt Out and we're gonna get through this together. So just, um, you know, just sway to it if you want. Just Anyway, we got ready for the day. I'm trying this new thing today because normally when I have to go and I work in the afternoon till closing, I wake up a little early and then I go to the gym and then I come back and I get ready and then I go back to work. But I find myself getting exhausted every fucking time I do that. I thought, well, let's sleep in a little bit this morning and then let's get ready and then go to the gym and then right afterwards just go upstairs and work. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Before I leave to go to the gym, cause I still have time before I absolutely need to go and start working out. I'm gonna make my smoothie first.
Oh my god. I'm... Ow! Oh, that didn't work. I think for part of the day, and I kept trying to remind myself, like, I'm already burnt out. Like, don't try to pretend like you're not burnt out, like, to myself. I think for... In the middle of the day, I forgot that, and I was like, Jade, just push through it. You're just tired, whatever. And then I was like, no, I'm actually, like, really... I'm um, burnt out at this point and so then I felt more exhausted because I kept trying to basically lie to myself that I wasn't burnt out when I was clearly burnt out the past couple weeks on my days off they really haven't been days off for me like genuinely because I just got a car so I've been getting quotes from insurances I've been having to go to the DMV I've been having you know getting my permanent plates there I've been having to go to the bank and opening and opening a new checkings account I've been having to call and ask about when I have to start setting up my student loans and setting up a payment plan like any days I've had off have literally just been doing all of these things that I haven't had time to do because I work a nine-to-five and all the other businesses are open nine-to-five and now I have like a weekday off and it's like logically I know why I'm burnt out what a day of realization what a day of just dealing with people what a day of being exhausted what a day of of just being a human. I think I'm sick. <laughs> we, we clearly just woke up. I'm more burnt out this morning than I was yesterday. Plan was today to still go to the gym. That's the last thing I wanna do. I'm literally so fucking tired. I just want to rest. I always have to remind myself because I think it could easily get to our minds with society. It's like, when you start going to the gym, you're gonna lose all your gains if you stop going. Girl, I've seen literal people take two months off of the gym and there's barely a difference of anything. Like, you don't lose all that muscle that quick. way better than i feel right now this is such a chit chat vlog i love it do we love the video diary like style because i do i was talking to my mom about how i'm just really tired what she was saying was this could be a good kind of lesson or just practice of like you can still do things even when you're burnt out because sometimes what i do is i'm like i'm burnt out i'm done like that's it that's all I can do, that's all I can offer, but that's not true. You can do things while you're exhausted, you can do things when you don't feel like doing things. Again, like I was saying, within the boundaries of you still respecting yourself, listening to your body, and all of that good stuff. I, I do need to go to work, so we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys after. There's a lot going on right now. First, we're back from work and also back from picking up our groceries we have our magnesium i'm super excited i'm taking this now it takes a little bit for it to kick in so i want to take it now so by the time my head hits the pillow i'm let's put these groceries away while we put away our groceries which chit chat you get to hear this when i talk love that i was talking to my co-worker terry today and i was like honestly I do be burnt. I was like, how do you, how do you deal? How do you deal with it? Does this need to go in the fridge? This just seems like it'd be weird if it wasn't in the fridge, wouldn't it? My camera battery's about to die. This is really anticlimactic. I'm gonna hate editing this video because I know I'm not gonna make sense most of the time. I'm ending the video here. I feel like I have this expectation inside myself to have like this big revelation at the end or even somewhat of a resolution at the end. But there's really not. I'm just tired and this was just a couple of days of me trying to navigate all of that and this has been hard. I do know that the little moments I took these past couple days to sit and be still and be with myself meant a lot but it didn't take away me feeling burnt out. I just still felt burnt out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I kind of enjoyed filming it. Actually, I really enjoyed filming it. I will see you guys very soon with a new vlog.